Hi guys, I'm Megan Graham, and in this video, I'm going to tell you the truth about the Yorkshire Terrier teacup. So first of all, you might be wondering, who am I to tell you the truth about the Yorkshire Terrier teacup? I am a 20 year Yorkshire Terrier owner, and I have done so much research on this breed. I have three Yorkshire Terriers. They are all under five pounds and they are my family. They're my companions. I love them more than anything and they bring so much joy into my life. That said, I've learned a lot over the course of my time having Yorkshire Terriers and I really wanna bring some of this information to you so that when you get your Yorkie puppy, you know the ins and outs and you also make sure not to waste money buying the wrong kind of puppy. I know that you're going to love whatever puppy that you get, but if you make the right choice before you get your puppy, you're going to have a happier and healthier companion. So first of all, every single time that I'm out walking, somebody stops me and they ask, oh, your dogs are so cute, are they teacup Yorkies? And I feel like when I answer their question, they always are sort of disappointed or puzzled because I tell them that there's actually no such thing as a teacup Yorkshire Terrier. Now, I will tell you that you're going to hear the word teacup Yorkie or micro teacup Yorkie tossed around on the internet and in marketing all the time, but I just want to tell you that if you are looking for a smaller Yorkie, you should not go to a breeder that is advertising that they sell teacup Yorkies because it is simply a marketing gimmick. Now, if you find a good breeder, and the way that I would suggest to find a good breeder is to look at the Yorkshire Terrier Association of America and get a breeder that is in that association because those are show breeders that care about the standard. They care about how their dogs look, the health of their dogs, and not breeding in genetic abnormalities that you should not see in Yorkies. So Yorkshire Terrier show breeders are going to be the absolute best breeders. And what's funny is it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be the most expensive, but I will tell you from experience that they are the breeders that care about Yorkshire Terrier puppies the very most because they do it, it's a passion of theirs. They love Yorkshire Terriers and they make sure to breed the most amazing Yorkies possible. Now, if you look on the internet, you're going to see several websites and I'm sure you're excited about a Yorkie and you'll see these websites and you'll get so excited because you'll see, you know, like a little teacup with a tiny little puppy in it and it's probably wearing pearls or a bow or something like that. And they are trying to sell you that Yorkie. They may not even show the price of the Yorkie and they're going to be charging you more money with the promise of this Yorkshire Terrier being smaller. But just because a breeder says that a Yorkshire Terrier is going to be smaller does not mean that that is the truth. So let me just tell you a story. Many years ago, my sister-in-law bought what was supposed to be a micro teacup Yorkie and she paid two times what I paid for my Yorkshire Terriers. And it was a very tiny puppy when she got it, but that is because the breeder gave her the puppy when it was too young. So it looked like he was going to be very small. And as he grew, he turned out to be, get ready for this, 14 pounds. Now, I will just say he is the best dog in the entire world and she would not trade her dog for, you know, all the tea in China. That said, he is really big and it's not as easy to carry him around. So when I got my dogs, I went to the show breeder that I've always worked with and I just said that I would like them to be on the smaller side. Now, there was another dog that I almost brought home and she was so tiny and so cute but she actually wound up getting very sick. So this is another thing that you want to keep in mind. The smaller your dog and the more of a runt that your dog is, the more the chances that there is going to be something wrong with that dog. And if your dog needs surgery, the surgery might be that much more complicated because you've gotten such a small dog. Now, when I got my first Yorkshire Terrier, I remember thinking, I called the breeder and I said I wanted a really small one. And she said, well, I have one. He's probably going to be about six pounds. And I said, oh, that's really big. I don't want one that big. And she said, six pounds is so small. Why don't you actually take a look at something that's six pounds? And, and when I did, I realized that that actually is so small. And maybe I didn't really need something that was only 
two or three pounds. Now, my smallest dog, Lola, is four pounds, and I have to say I need to be extremely careful with what I do because I've gotten into a lot of trouble with her because she's so tiny and I can't even hear her walking sometimes. So many years ago when she was a puppy, I, I was missing her for a few minutes. I don't know how to say it. I didn't see her in the house and I heard a faint crying sound and she had actually made her way into the refrigerator. So just something to think about. You need to be extra careful with an extra tiny dog. You need to really be careful because if you shut a door on your dog, if you drop something on your dog, that could be a very substantial injury for your dog. So I find that even five pounds is still so incredibly tiny. If I want to, I can actually put all three of my dogs into one carrier and collectively they are only 15 pounds. So I just want to give you an idea of what a four to four and a half pound Yorkie looks like. So here we have my iPhone and here we have Lola. She really, really, sorry Lola, she really needs her hair brushed. Um, and that is our next order of business, but she is a tiny little puppy and she, she literally weighs nothing. She's sitting on my lap right now and you can barely even feel her body on my lap because she is so small. So I just want you to think about it when you are looking at Yorkshire Terriers and realize that if somebody is advertising my other, my other Yorkie Alfie is now on my lap as well. Um, but just realize that if somebody is advertising a Yorkie as a teacup Yorkie, they are actually not a breeder that you want to go to. A great Yorkshire Terrier breeder would be willing to sell you a larger or smaller dog if they think that you are a good match for a Yorkshire Terrier. But a breeder that is selling a teacup Yorkie is probably not even going to ask how you're going to take care of your dog. Who's going to walk your dog? Will you have insurance? Breeders that care about their dogs are breeders that produce healthier dogs. Um, they're going to ask you a ton of questions about, you know, what is your home like? Are you going to have young children? How will you keep your dog safe? Will you keep it on a leash? These are all really important questions to ask. I know that when people think about getting a pet, they often become very childlike and they forget to think into the future but this is an animal that you're going to have forever and you really want to make sure that they come from a good breeder. So sadly, there is no such thing as a teacup Yorkie and that is the truth. If you do get a very small Yorkie, just know you're going to have to be extra careful. It's going to need extra medical attention. You'll need to feed it constantly because its blood sugar can go up and down and it just brings with it a lot of other problems. They are very, very cute, but having a size that is more four to five pounds is so much more manageable and you can still hold them. She doesn't like to be held like a baby, but you can still hold them like a baby. They are just the best dogs in the world. So the teacup Yorkie price will always be higher than what you would pay for just a normal Yorkshire Terrier. And just keep in mind, it is just a marketing gimmick. You don't need to pay that. And you should really take your time finding your companion because you are going to have your companion for probably anywhere from 13 to 16 years. So there is no rush to choose the wrong thing. You have time. It's If you need to be on a waiting list, it is completely worth it. I really hope that this video was of value to you. I know that not everybody wants to hear the truth about teacup Yorkies because there is this mystique about them. It's very exciting and everybody loves the idea of dressing them up and, and getting this little tiny cute dog. But just keep in mind that all your true terriers are going to be cute. And the most important thing is that you find a great breeder that gives you a healthy and beautiful dog. If you enjoyed this, please leave a comment below and let me know if you have a Yorkie now or if you're thinking of getting one. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel so you get my videos as soon as they come out. And I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Stay healthy and stay beautiful.